Hi, it's Jordan Teen One, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my new wavy fan bracelet. And here's what it looks like. It uses the same concept as my regular fan bracelet, only I just changed the order of the little fan sections so that I put two next to each other going the same direction. And so you can see it makes this really cool S curvy shape here. So I showed the fan bracelet on the rainbow loom. So this time I'm going to show this one on the monster tail. But you can make it on either. So if you're going to use the rainbow loom, you just want to have your pins set up so they're in line with one another. And you would be working with four pins in the shape of a square. And I'd also like to mention that since it does only use the four pins, you can make this one on the finger loom since you have the four pins to utilize. And then, of course, on the monster tail here, we're going to be using the same four pins in the shape of a square. And for my bands today, I'm going to be using Rainbow Loom brand bands. And for this bracelet that I've made, I have 16 different um, fan sections, so that's what I'm basing my count off of. But you may need more or less, depending on the size of your wrist. So for my white bands for the border, I have 95 bands, and then of this lighter green, the neon green, I have about 80, and then for the dark green, I have an additional 80. So I'm going to be starting with the white, and the first band is going straight across the center from left to right, or right to left, it doesn't really matter, and there is no twisting. And now the second band is going from the same pin on the right, and it's going diagonally up and to the left. And then I want a third band that I'm going to double. So to do this, you just place it on your hook, twist, and put it back on so you have the two loops. And that's going to go over on this center pin on the right. And now I want these lower two bands to come up through the cap band, just one at a time here. So I'm going to take my hook and reach down through the top two bands. I'm going to push them back and grab this next one in line. And you probably should hold this cap band just so it doesn't come off as you're pulling this up through. And now this band is just going to move to the pin above. And then once again, I'm going to go back down through and grab the bottom one. And that needs to come up through. I'm going to leave this on my hook. And then I'm just going to take my thumb and slide this cap band off. And I'm just going to put this right back on that same pin. Now I'm ready to start my first section. So I'll start with a light green and this is going to go straight across the bottom and then I need to remove that bottom rubber band so it comes off the right and left side and now I'm going to switch to my other color here, the darker green and that's going to go right on top, right across the bottom and now I want the bottom band to come over the top so I am going to follow this pattern where I do the two colors in each section next to each other, the way that I did with this dark pink and light pink. But of course if you wanted to, you could keep the color the same. So now what I'm going to do, since I've laid two bands here, my light and dark, I'm going to take this dark green band and I need it to move up to the top. So from the right side, I'm just going to take it off and move it above and then the same thing on the left. And now what I'm going to do before I do any other looping is I need this top border band which is going to be the center of this little section it needs to move back down here. So let me just tilt this up so you can see it a little bit better. I want this white band I'm going to grab it from the right. It's the one that my first color band went through so I have the light green through it going to pull it down and then just set it back up on this pin on the right and then on the left here I need to grab the other section of it this border band just the white 
it's going to pull down and move over to the left. So you can see I'm always pulling it down and then sliding it on that pin from the inside. And you can just double check yourself and make sure that your first color that you put on is the one that this goes through. You want that very top white. Push that down. And now I want to take another border band. And this time it's going to go straight across the top here so it's white. And then I want the bottom two this time. So you have your border color and then whatever color your center is to come over the top. So just both at once and push down. So that was my first set of bands that went through this, what's going to be the center cap band here. And I want to have five sets all together. So I'm going to repeat this same pattern four more times. So I'm always going to be starting with my light green, and again it's going across the bottom. And then I'm removing that bottom rubber band. I'm going to go to my dark green again, right across the bottom. And then remove the bottom band. And then once you've got the two bands on, it's time to move this lower one to the pin above. And then the next step is going to be to take this same white band, so again it's going to be your upper white band, and I'm pulling it down and resetting it back on the pin on the right, and then taking the other half of that, pulling it down, and then putting it on the left. So you can see we're getting the bands to always go through the same one here. And then I need the border band across the top. And the bottom two will come off. So that was my second set. I'm going to do another one here. So the first color across the bottom. And then my second color on top of that. And then once I did the two, I need to move the bottom band up. And now once again, I'm going to get this top white band to just go right back on where it initially was. Oops. And then the last step is to put the border across the top and then remove the bottom two. So there are definitely a bunch of steps to remember. But once you do a few, I think you'll get the hang of it. And so that was our third set. So I still have two more sets to do. So I'm just repeating that same pattern. And now since I've looped the two bands, the bottom one needs to come up. And then again, I'm taking the same white band and getting it back on the lower pins. And then the top here. And now I have one more set to do. And now the bottom comes up. And 
I do still want to put this white band back on, even though I'm really finished with this little section. It still needs to get reset here. And now I have my border across the top. And then finally the bottom too. So just be careful as you're pulling these over that your band's staying on. I know with the monster tail, they do tend to slide off a little bit easier. And now here is where it's going to differ from the original fan bracelet. I'll show you here because with the original fan bracelet, every time I would do a section, I would switch and it would move to the opposite section. But with this bracelet, we're going to keep two sections on the same side and then switch and do two sections on the other side and so on. So I do still want to make a new cap band, even though I'm still going to keep it on the lower pins. So you're going to still need to take an additional border collar band and then remove this bottom. So that totally completes the first section. And now I'm just going to repeat this all over again in the same order. So I'm still keeping with the bottom row of pins here. And I'm going to do five more sets here. So you should be pretty familiar with this pattern at this point, at least this part of it. So now these move up. And now this time I'm still taking this upper white band, it's going to be my new center section here. So I'm getting it from either side. And you should only have that one color through it since it's this new section. Push that down. And then my top border here. So I'm going to repeat this pattern four more times to finish this section. And I'll just fast forward here so you can pause your video and finish your other four sets of bands and then I will show you what to do next. Now I've just completed my five sets of bands so you can see I have basically almost a half circle here and what you want to do is still reset even though we did all of our five through this center band here you still need to get this back on the middle here so I'm just going to get it on the right side and the left. You can see after you do the two sections that it really does want to curve up here. So you're just going to have to keep pushing that down. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch. So instead of putting the bands across the bottom and then moving them up, we're going to lay the two bands across the top and move them down. So what I'm going to do and what I did in the bracelet that I showed you at the beginning is I'm going to switch the order of the colors because I want to keep the dark green across the top and the light green across the bottom. Now of course you can do whatever color pattern you like but that's what I'm going to follow. So instead of starting with the light green like we did at the bottom I'm going to start with the dark green at the top. And the way you can keep it straight in what order you're putting them on if you want to follow this same pattern is just look where the greens are. You can see the dark is at the top, so you just need to start with that at the top. So I'm putting that one on, and actually this looks a little twisted, so I'm just going to run my hook around to make it straight. And then I have the bottom band to come off. And now I'm going to switch to the light green. So it's basically the same pattern that we were already following. We're just doing it in an opposite order. And so now the light green will move down since we have the two color bands on. And now I need to put this white band back on the top pins here. So it's the one that this dark green went through. So again, I'm just grabbing it and sliding it on from the center.
And then finally I need that border that's going to go across the bottom. And then the bottom too. So I'm going to do five sets again. It's always going to be five sets within each section. So let me just show you this again. I'm starting with the dark green and it's going across the top and then the bottom layer comes off I'm switching it up to the light green and removing the bottom and now I need this light green to move down I'm going to get the white border band here at the top right back on. And then finally I need the border to go across the bottom and remove the bottom too. So that was my second set of bands so I'm going to repeat that three more times. So again, I'm just going to fast forward here. So I've now completed my five sets within this section. And again, I do need to reset the white. So I just stopped so I could show you this part. So again, I'm taking the one on the top. Just getting it back on. And now since this was only my first set going in this direction, I'm going to repeat it one more time. So I do need to get a new center band. So from the top here, I'm going to add that additional white band or whatever color your border is. And then I'm going to loop that. And now this band here, the white I just put on, is going to wind up being the center of my next section. So again, I'm sticking to that same pattern for this section. So I'm having the dark green on the top. And then the light. I'm sure by now everybody is a pro at this. So it's coming down. And now I have this new white band. It's only going to have that one dark green through it. I'm going to just reset this. And then do that bottom border. So I'm going to repeat this four more times until I have five sets through this section. And then it's going to start all over again, back like the beginning where we're putting the colors across the bottom. Then once I do the two, they're going to move up and so forth and so on. And let me just give you a little tip here. I think the most important thing to remember is when you're doing two sections that are on the same side that you do have to separate them. You have to have that additional white band or whatever your border color is put on. Otherwise you're going to have all 10 bands through the same center band and it's not going to work out the same. I now have my bracelet to the length that I'd like and I'm ready to take it off of the loom. So you should have just one single band that goes straight across the middle. So I'm just going to pick it up from the right side and then from the left and I can just pull the whole thing up through. And now I'm going to take a clip. I have a C clip here. And I'm just going to hook it through these two loops here on the end just to secure that. And now if you look at the other end here, you can see that they should, the way that I ended, they should connect up to each other so it flows into one even thing here. So what I'm going to do is just take my C clip and I'm going to also attach it so that these line up here. So I'm just going to attach it to one of the center bands in the middle here. And then I also need to attach it to the end here. So I'm just going to take 
an additional white band here and I'll put it through this outside edge and now I'm just going to leave the other end here in my fingers and I'll go up here to where the other dark green is and I'm just going to put my hook through here and I'm just going to grab the other side and I will pull that up through just try not to get hung up on any other bands and I'm just going to take another clip and I'll put it through these two bands just to secure this in place and so now you can see that it's nice and lined up. I hope that everyone loves their new wavy fan bracelets. You can always leave me comments on YouTube and Facebook, post pictures of your creations to my Facebook page, and please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on my latest tutorials. You can also find me on Pinterest and Instagram, so please feel free to subscribe to those as well. Thanks for watching!